All right, so I'm going to show the rest of my great grandpa's stuff from World War One. Now, I already showed the the gas mask bag in the last video, and then obviously the helmet too. I might try to actually get the rust removed, but I'm not sure yet. I'm wanting to put it in a glass case. So, so this is an original picture. It's not a copy. This is him. He was he's the guy that had the helmet. Uh, my great grandpa, and I got some really cool to show. This is the same hat. I don't remember what these are called, but. It's made out of wool, but this is the same hat that he has in this picture. This is the flag that, uh, when he was buried. So, and he was, he was, I think he died in 1953. Um, I got my other great grandpa's flag over there. I got it in a case. I'm going to get this in a case too. So, but yeah, this flag is really old. I think my other great grandpa died in the 80s, so... And this is another picture of him. I don't know if maybe this is from the 40s. Could be in their very early 50s, but yeah. I think this is original too. Now, if you've seen my other uh, posts, you'll remember that I posted uh, letters that he wrote to my great-grandma. Now, these are just copies. These aren't or the original letters, obviously. My aunt actually typed these out, but I'm going to show something really cool, too. Now, there's this right here. Here, hold on. And now, this is just a picture of the handkerchief. Now, I don't have the same handkerchief, but I think this is really cool because it has all the um, Entente or Allied powers during World War One. So like right there, I think that's Italy, obviously that's the US, Australia, Portugal, Belgium, France, uh, I think Romania. Okay, that's that's Serbia right there. Um, I'm thinking that's Canada. Oh no, Romania's right here, never mind. So... So, I do not have that handkerchief, but, and I washed my hands because I don't want to get oil on this thing, but this handkerchief is over 100 years old. It says Souvenir of France. It says Victory in French. But yeah, he brought this home, probably 1919, 1920, whenever he came back. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So, a lot of these are old postcards that he would send over when he was in France. So these are over 100 years old too. But yeah, this is his writing. I can't it's over 100 years old. Can't believe it. There's his uh unit. I'm definitely going to put these in something because I just got them not too long ago. But there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, instructions for troops. Basically, rules. This is from 1919. This is from New Jersey. This must have been where his basic was. Or at least before where he shipped. So. Yeah. I, I can't read French. So I'm not sure what it says on the front. But. Yeah. It's lot of these don't have writing on them these are just like extra ones that he had and never got to 
but yeah, 1919 again. So. Oh, this is the uh, the copy, or not? Not this is original, but this was in the letters in this uh, notebook that I got. This binder, this was actually in it. I didn't even think I would get this. And I think this is really cool. And it's all the the countries that were on our side in World War One. I. I didn't even know Cuba was involved. So Oh, this is when he was on the the ship going to Europe, I think. So. This is to his dad, so my great-great-grandpa. And then, I'm not sure, this must be, this is from a newspaper. I don't really, I don't know how great shape it's in. I don't really want to open it until I actually get something to put it in. So, and then, this is like a little book. It says 1907 on it. But, I don't know, maybe a few pages. And he was 25 when he joined in 1917. Or what, it may have been 18, I'm not sure, but... Yep. I think that was 1901. Okay, so I was wrong. It's... It's the same kind of postage, like mail, but it's to two different people. So that was, I don't know. If, oh, sorry, because it'll glare. Uh, I don't know if they was married yet, but that would be. This is to my great grandma, and I think that's to his mom. So my great great grandma. So they're not the same, but it's the same kind of postage. And then this stuff right here, it's not from the military. This is just, this is a lot, way after World War One. So this is from 1926, it's just other stuff. Checks that he wrote, they didn't, uh, to show how checks were used, they actually stamped them. So I don't know if it says anything. Paid, that's what it says. But, yeah. There's checks that he wrote. A, a ton of them. To different people. Family members from that time. Other people that maybe helped him out. Stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's all I got right now. My, my cousin, his granddaughter, said she might have more stuff. But she's not sure yet. So if she does give me anything, I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, this is really cool to actually have this stuff. So, see you next time.